what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology so today we will discuss another example chart and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it okay and today is the chart of a great spiritual personality who i know from last seven years okay very intimately and he is studying his masters in the university of magdeburg here in germany and i'm extremely blessed fortunate to have him with me here in Germany okay so today we will discuss the combinations of great spiritual progress etc from a, uh, from a bird's eye view without going much into detail so the number one sign is he is a Sagittarius ascendant the Lagna itself is having the sign number nine which is the sign of God okay and the Lord of the Ascendant, Jupiter, has gone into the ninth house. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is fabulous. Can't get better than this, as I say. Sagittarius rising and the Lord is in the ninth house. Wow, beautiful this is. So his life focus will always be taking guidance from the gurus, from counselors, from scriptures and people who are well versed. In religion, spirituality, in transforming people. Another fabulous placement for spiritual pursuits is the placement of moon in the nakshatra of Pushya. Pushya nakshatra is the best of 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 the best. Of the best. <laughs> Zodiacs, okay, of all the nakshatras, all the 27 nakshatras, including 28th, which is Abhijit nakshatra. Because Pushya signifies growth, expansion, spirituality, nourishment, okay, its, it's symbol is the udder of the cow, which shows nourishment, okay, and this is phenomenally powerful here, okay, moon is tremendously powerful in the nakshatra of Pushya, although it is in Maranakaraka, death position house, which is eighth house, so there can be some mental ups and downs which this native undergoes but that is okay i guess <laughs> now jupiter is aspecting the first house being the lord of the first house so that is very good for the first house the body will be very hale and healthy rahu in the first house makes a person visionary ketu in the seventh house the person can have the marriage which is from a different caste creed or religion now, there is this Dharma Karma Adhipati Yoga about which I have been talking from last 2-3 videos. Please watch them in the other example charts. The combination of the Lords of the 9th and the 10th. So here, the 9th Lord is Sun because number 5 is Leo and 10th Lord is Mercury because number 6 is Virgo. So you see Sun and Mercury placed in the 12th house in the sign of Scorpio. This is... Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga, which is extremely powerful, potent, and best of all astrological yogas. Okay. The only predicament in this chart is Venus is debilitated in the sign of Virgo. Okay. So I would suggest this person that before you get married, and also the, the issue is Ketu is in the seventh house. Okay. So these can cause some issues. So as a precaution, I would suggest this person that the only thing you have to take care in this life is that when you marry, you do it with proper understanding. Do not do it hastily and do not do it because of some external physical attraction or whimsically do not just decide that I, okay, I will marry this person. Take your time, peacefully use it and then you decide, okay. But this chart is very powerful, so I uh, that's perhaps the last of my worries, okay. And of course, Sun is also in the 12th house of spirituality, okay. The 10th Lord Mercury is in the 12th house of spirituality. And the 9th Lord is also Sun itself, which is again in the 12th house. So these are phenomenal combinations of spirituality. And apart from this, Saturn aspects the... 8th house where moon is placed which is phenomenal for spirituality and also it aspects the 11th house okay so there can be some 
uh, initial struggle in matters of earning money because 211 are both houses of money and they are affected by Saturn but that is okay I guess not a big problem but the summary points are Sagittarius rising Lord of the Ascendant in the ninth house giving spirituality Moon in Pushya Nakshatra being the best okay and Dharma Karma Dhipatiyo conjunction of the ninth and the tenth Mercury and Sun along with Mars also which is the fifth Lord beautiful combination ninth Lord fifth Lord very beautiful combination okay so that's it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know okay until next time bye bye see you